First, the members of the championship women's team. Paula Welsh, Terry Ray Matthews, Lori Orgill, Tina Miles, Kim Brandt, and now the members of the men's team. Bruce Zielinski, Steve Imons, David Leach, Craig Humphrey, John Dayton. They're here today on Bruce Forsyth's Hot Streak. And now, here he is, here's Bruce Forsyth. Well, hello there. A very good, that was a, wasn't that a quick day? Wasn't that a quick day? It's nice to see you, to see you. And welcome to Hot Street. Now, we have two teams of players here on Hot Street, and one team today could wind up winning more than $10,000 in Oh, yes. That could all happen. And as usual, as usual, it's the men against the women, but what women? Oh, my goodness. Our defending champions, ladies and gentlemen, there they are, $5,500 to the credit. Yes. You've been playing so well, so very, very well. But I must meet our challengers first before we do anything else. Oh, Bruce! Hello, Bruce. Well, I was looking for my one. I have... <laughs> you have a good name, sir. I will. Uh, Bruce, who is it? My name is Bruce Zelensky. Zelensky. Common spelling. Yes. I, uh, Common have... spelling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. I am uh, married with two daughters. I enjoy water skiing and work for a major airline, and I'm a retired police officer. And, Bruce, uh, these girls are history. Oh! <laughs> oh, my goodness! <laughs> Oh, Bruce! No question, we came for business. <laughs> Another quiet Bruce. <laughs> right. All right. Well, how do you? What, what do you think about your team? I mean, that's the thing. Have you every confidence in them, Captain? The best for the last. All right. Yeah. Hey, all the right. best for the last. All right. Well, good luck, challengers. Now, Captain Bruce, all you have to do is describe the subject. We'll give you so the next player in line says it, and then he passes it along, and so forth and so on. But if anyone repeats a word or a sound, you will hear this. And the scoring stops right there. We only charge you with words that describe the subject, and of course we won't count simple words like he, she, or it. One more thing, you must not pantomime. It is not allowed. Good luck, gentlemen, into your headphones. There's uh, music going on in those headphones, so they can't hear what's being said. And Bruce is going to make the choice here. What are you going to ask your team to play? Which one? You've chosen class, or class, rather. Class, you will have the one that's left, ladies. Turn around, Bruce. Here's your 40 seconds. Go. In school, you were taught this in this room. Uh, your lessons. It's uh, called a blank room. Uh, classroom. Good, good. What? When I fly, I like to fly first class. Good. Two. Very good. When you were a child, you went to school and you had... Kindergarten! Oh, 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 was it school? Was it school? It was school, Bruce. Thank you, Bert. We all thought it was school. Bad luck there, David. And do go easy on these, will you? <laughs> I'm sorry. We've only got eight of these, okay. <laughs> what was the word? <laughs> oh, the word, sorry, was class. Class. Or as we say in England, class. <laughs> which makes... We've got a lot of class. Right. Okay, you have two left, and easy on the headphones, Craig. Okay, one, two, you have $200 up there. Not too bad, gentlemen, bad luck. All right, well, how is Paula today? Oh, I'm feeling charitable. Oh, charitable? We gave them 200 Oh, we gave, oh, we they gave were... them, we gave, oh, you are very charitable, That's Paula. Right. Well, they, they were not very nice. Oh, weren't they? No. Oh, what they said, yes. what Captain Bruce said. Yes, was it said. meat, was it dead meat? D mm. oh, oh, oh. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. We'll have the wrestling later. Right. Okay, ladies, remember, keep your clues simple to start with before Paula sets on him. And uh, if you have any of your team repeats an important word or sound, the scoring will stop. And remember, you are not allowed to pantomime. Are you ready, defending champions? Yes. Okay, for your first round, in you go to your headphones, if you will. And Paula, I'll show you the subject that you were left with, that Bruce left you over there. It's... Burglar. Okay, turn round. Just turn round. Here's your 40 seconds. Go. Someone who robs you is a blank. Uh, thief. thief. Robber. Um, uh, um, a criminal. A uh, crime. A thief. A thief. Uh, um, he, he, um, he does this to your house. Um, burglar. Yes. yes. Good. One. Someone who wears a mask on his face and has a gun. Uh, Robert. Uh, 
Burglar. Good, too. Very good. Oh, gosh, this person comes at night through your window and uh, vampires you. A ghost? No, um, a no, you can get arrested for this. A burglar. Good, three, very good. Um, when I was little, um, I used to... Uh oh I think we ran out of time. We ran out of time. The, the, the subject was burglar. Burglar. But a good round, ladies. One, two, three. You have $300 up there. A very good round. You are in the lead. The gentleman is trading with 200 And Hot Street round two won't start without you. We'll be right back. We're still here. We'll be playing three rounds in all. And whoever's ahead wins the game, and only the winners keep the money. And they go on to play in our bonus game where there's that chance to win that extra $10,000. I just thought I'd remind you about that little thing. Well, let's recap the score. The ladies are in the lead. They are up there with $300. The gentlemen are slightly trading with $200. So we're going to start with you again. But not you, Captain Bruce. In comes Captain Steve. How are you? Fine, thank you, Bruce. Good. And it's Steve who? Steve Imons. Steve I, uh, Imons, mm -hmm. yes. And what do you do? And... I work for an automotive aftermarket company here in Los Angeles. Yes, I, yes. I love to snow ski, spend time with my family. Yeah. And... Start a hot streak. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah you're going to... Yeah. You're not going to really sort of say much to the ladies. You're just going to do it quietly. Don't need intimidation. Yes, you don't, no, don't need intimidation. That was right. Count, right. Okay, gentlemen, good luck for your second round. Into your headphones, if you will. And Steve, you have a choice of subject. Which one would you like your team to play? You've chosen can, right? You'll have the one that's left, ladies. Turn around here, Steve. Here's your 40 seconds. Go. A tin cup. Plates. Man. It's made of metal. Made of aluminum. Uh, there's corn in these uh, vegetables. Um, you drink out of a Coke bottle. Uh, uh, not Coke a bottle. Can. Yeah. Coke can. Okay, okay. You, you said it. You said it. Okay. okay uh, I will do this. I determination. Um, uh, rhymes with man. Fan. Dance. Um, um, man. Um, nan. Fan. Can. Yes! Yes! yes. Good job. Oh! I, I think we run out of, we run out of time. <laughs> Could I have a close-up, please? A close-up. <laughs> we didn't get to you, John. It was canned. Okay. I was canned. You were canned. <laughs> You were well and truly canned, all right then. But that was a lot of fun. I tell you what, you didn't get many, but it was a lot of fun. Okay, you have two right gentlemen again. You move up to $400. All right, and a bit of fun there. Well, let's have a new captain in, Paula. In you come Terry Ray. And how are you today, Terry Just Ray? wonderful. Good? And has it made a difference to your life already, the hot Oh, yes. yes, yes. Uh -huh. You've been enjoying it? Yes, it has. Fine, and you're going to be a good captain? I hope so. Okay, let's lead them on then. Okay, ladies, into your headphones, if you will, and I'll show Terry Ray the subject. The one you are left with is museum. Okay. Museum. Turn around here. Here's your 40 seconds. Go. It's a place where bones and animals are, are viewed. Museum. Good one. Uh, when I was in school, we went on a field trip here, and yeah. there's exhibits. Uh, museum. Good, two. Okay, uh, what this is, it can, it can be like a, um, with bones in it, old thing. Oh. Oh. We all heard bones, didn't we, gang? Yes, bones, it was. The, the actual, the museum was the subject. Museum, the gentlemen are very happy about that over there. So you only got two right. One, two, you have 500. The gentlemen are still trading with 400. This looks as though it could be very close. We'll be back with our final round right after this. Here it is. Here it is now, the third round coming up. And for each right answer you get right, this time it is worth $200. So it's a very important round, the third round. The money is added up all the time. Recap, ladies are still leading with $500. The gentlemen are trailing slightly with $400. So, we're going to start with you once again, gentlemen, as you're trading. So, Steve, at the end of the line, hello, David. David Leach. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm in the moving business. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you look as though you're going to move me for the moment. Well, I hope so. I hope to move that dollar sign. Oh, you're going to move it. Hey, this is what I like. That's right. Okay, David Leach, you've thrown down the gauntlet. Are we ready, gentlemen? 
Yeah. This is the final round. This is the one that counts. Into your headphones. Good luck for this. Our challenges. And David, I'll show you the two subjects. All you have to do is make a choice. Which one would you like for your team? I'll take... You've taken mustard. You will have the one that's left, ladies. Turn round here, David. Here's your 40 seconds. Go. It's a yellow condiment you put on hot dogs. Mustard. Good. One. Not ketchup, but... Mustard. Good. Two. Uh, there is this uh, material. It's a, it's a fabric. No, it's a liquid, and it has a certain color. It's yellow. It comes from a small... Oh! Oh, what happened, Bert? The word yellow. yellow was repeated. The word color was repeated. I didn't think yellow was repeated. Yellow was. Oh, yellow was repeated. Yes. Yellow was repeated. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And you, what a and, dummy. And, <laughs> <laughs> what a dummy, he says. And you finally got a chance to talk. I know. Well. <laughs> that was the shame of it. But you only got two, gentlemen. One, two, okay. takes you to $800. $800. So that's it. We now know the position. Could you come in here now, Laurie, if you will? Our new captain. How do you feel about this? Yeah, I feel great. <laughs> you need two to win, ladies. Just two to win. And then you have another try for that $10,000. <laughs> How are you feeling, Laurie? Fine. You're feeling good? <laughs> okay, into your headphones, if you will, ladies. And good luck for the final round. And Laurie, here is the subject you were left with. It is shade. Okay. All right, turn round. Here's your 40 seconds. Go. When it's real warm outside, you want to get into this to cool shade. off. Shade. Good. Wow. An umbrella provides shelter. Um, this when it's um, got the soul out. Uh, protection. It provides some shade. Dark Good. Two. Keep going. From black to gray to white are varying colors, hues. Uh, Another tints. word for that? Tint. Rainbow. Uh, you uh, fill it in when you're painting. Background. Uh, uh, to make something lighter. You, you add highlight, black to. Uh, you mix it. You, uh, you have it on you. your window. I do. A it's shade. A yes. Three. Oh. We run out of time. You didn't do anything wrong, you just ran out of time. But a good round. You needed two to win. You got three to win. One, two, three. You have eleven hundred dollars up there, which means that is yours to keep. And you go once more for the ten thousand dollars. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, gentlemen. You didn't get off to too good a start, and it didn't happen after that. But it's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you for being with us. And we do have some prizes for you and some little gifts. Thanks a lot. David, come on, ladies, come here, Paula. Let's see what this is all about. We want this up here because we want a big finish. We need a big finish today. We need it. And now back to Bruce Forsyth's hot streak. All right. Here we are back in this familiar position, ladies. Another try for that 10,000. That one before the last show was the one that was very close, but good luck to you here. It's more or less the opposite to what we've played up until now. I'm going to give you a captain a subject, and then she has to give me the four most obvious words she can think of you. The rest of you have to try to guess those words. It can be so easy, but at times it can be very difficult, as we know. But good luck. We're all wishing you well. Yes! Into your headphones and stay in a good mode. Paula, catch them up, for goodness sake. That's it. Okay, have a look, but don't say anything until I ask you, Laurie. Okay, they're into the headphones. Okay, the first subject is a Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant. Okay, give me the four most obvious words. Okay, uh, fortune cookie. Fortune cookie, good. Tea. Tea, yes, very good. Egg roll. Egg roll, yes, I love those. Uh, chow mein. Chow mein, yeah, that's good. I think that's, that sounds very good to me. I think that's very good. Okay, stop the music in the headphones and down you come. All right, team, now you have 20 seconds. That is five seconds for each of you to hit the four words that Laurie has just given me. Each one you hit is worth $200. Very important to get off to a good start in our bonus game. Are you all set? I just want you to think of a Chinese restaurant. A Chinese restaurant. Tina, you're going to start us off. Go. Chop suey, chopsticks, sake, um, ch uh, chow mein, noodles, Good Cantonese one. Mandarin, Sichuan, egg roll, wonton, hot Two. and sour soup, uh, rice, and um, chicken, chicken fried rice, um, pork, small yeah. pork, <laughs> um, upu, uh, mushy pork, uh, uh, little Chinese people, I don't know. Fortune cookie and tea. Oh, yes. 
Paula, what, what is a moo poo, dear? I've never had a moo poo. In my life, I've never had a moo poo. It's kind of the feeling you get standing. Yes, here. at the end of the line, you feel a bit of a moo poo. Moo I see what you mean. That's what being a moo poo is. Being at the end of the line. Yes. Okay, you missed out tea and fortune cookie, but you came up with some very good ones, except moo poo, of course. Okay, but next time you come back, don't feel a moo poo, uh, Paula. Okay, now. The next time you come back, it is worth $300 for each one you got right. By the way, you do have $400 up there. You still got $400, so it wasn't all wasted. Back into your headphones, if you will, Paula. Catch them up, dear. I'll have to put you on wheels. Okay. Here we go, then. Right. <laughs> the, uh, the, the next one subject is Miami Vice, the TV show Miami Vice. So, in your own time, Laurie, what's it going to be? Okay, uh, men, uh, Florida. Florida, men, Florida. Uh, beach. Beach, yes. Uh, detectives. Detectives, yes, very good. I think that's all right. That sounds all right to me. Yes, stop the music in the headphones, if you will. And down you come, ladies. Remember, this one is worth $300 each. Okay, I want you to think of that hit TV show, Miami Vice. Okay, think of Miami Vice. Tina, you're going to start us off. Go. It's in Florida. It's got Don Johnson. It has an alligator. It's a, they, they're, they're, it, there's adventure. There's shooting. There's running. There's chasing. There's fast cars and women. Fast, yes. Uh, designer suits. Um, gorgeous men. Stars. Fast. Colors, videos, music. Um, Excitement, drama, mystery. Oh, oh, we missed out the beach, and of course they are detectives, aren't they? The beach and detectives. You came out with some good ones here and there, but you only got two right, which takes you to a thousand dollars up there. Now, this time though, you are playing for five times what is up there, so ladies, you are playing for five thousand dollars. All right, come on. And we want that. We want you to get it today, particularly today. But we need all four. Three is no good, two is no good. We don't pay it out for one. It's got to be all four. Back into your headphones. Stay in a good mood now. And let's get this $5,000. Don't say anything until I ask you, please, Laura. Lori, rather. And here's your last one. It is heaven. Okay? Heaven. The four most obvious words about heaven. Okay, names as well. Don't forget that. Okay, uh, God. God. Angels. Angels. Uh, clouds. Clouds, good. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, and who is always Saints. waiting at the door? Saint Peter. The one who's waiting at the door, St. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's the but guy. I want to say Saints. So I'm the guy. He's the guy Peter. I'm looking forward to meeting <laughs> one day. Okay, that's it. I think that's it. Saints is fine. So okay. we've got all four. That's it. Uh, do you think that's got chances? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Stop the music in the headphones and down you come. Now this one is for $5,000 and we all want you to get this so much, particularly today. Okay, are we ready? The subject is heaven. So just think about heaven. Tina, you're going to start us off. Go. There's God, there's pearly gates, there's clouds, there's angels, there's wings, there's... Um, there's you got the three. of hell, um, uh, angels, purgatory, uh, pearly gates, Peter, St. Peter. Yes! Yes! You have it! Oh, yes! They have the $5,000! And our defending champion, total winnings are, oh, $11,600! What a happy time we're having here! Oh, I'm so pleased for you. So pleased. Hello, hello. Well, as you as you probably know, this is the last show in our series. May I say it's been a pleasure to be with you for the last 13 weeks. I've enjoyed it so much. I've always appreciated American professionalism, but I've never really experienced uh, American friendship the way I have from this group. From ev I mean, everybody concerned in this show have been so kind to me, and I've appreciated it very much. Thank you, gang. You've been a pleasure to work with. You really have. Okay. 
and I'm so glad we finished on a high note. Eleven thousand six hundred dollars. What are you going to do with this money? Come on, quickly, Paul. I have a grandson. You have a grandson. You're going to give him a whole lot. I like you spend some little things with him. Quick, Terry Ray. Pay some debts. Pay some debts. My yes. bills. And can I say, honey, you were wrong. Men don't dominate. Oh dear, the men don't dominate. Okay. Well, you can't come back, but I'll see you another time. I hope. And will I see you another time? Yeah. Will I see you another time? Well, it's been lovely to be with you. Cheerio, and see you again soon. I hope. Bye bye. Hey. Some departing contestants will receive. Long Nails by Jonay, salon looking nails as close as your fingertips, long lasting self adhesive long nails by Jonay, plus Daisy Chef Pot Plus, multi purpose fully immersible non stick cooker, fryer, steamer, removable crock, thermostat control from Daisy, and True Value's own master mechanic 57 feet standard and metric socket set from True Value hardware stores and home centers. Plus, from Hawaiian Tropic comes this luxurious beach top, plus Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils, aloha, and Gift certificates for Kentucky Fried Chicken and Fresh Buttermilk Biscuits. You've got a right to chicken done right at Kentucky Fried Chicken. They do chicken right. Plus, Niagara Fabric Care Spray starts for a crisp finish with body. Sizing for body without stiffness, Niagara for Fabric Care. Tonight at 9, 8 Central, he can't see it, but he can feel it. Love's got Mr. Sunshine running in circles. Then he's an offbeat cop on a tough beat. USA Today says he's weird and strange with flashes of brilliance. Peter Boyle is Joe Bash. Now stay tuned for New Love American Style next. Forsyth's Hot Streak is a Reg Grundy production.